Hi guys, this is Ajahn Abraham. So uh, in this video, I'll talk about some of the general settings and features of uh, OWASP Xenotix. So uh, we have to complete one more thing from the scanner module that is the hidden parameter detector. So basically it's nothing but it will try to identify all those parameter which are hidden in a document. So basically, for example, you can give uh, google.com can hit go so it will render the page here and once it and once the rendering is completed you can click on scan so once the scan is finished you can see all those inputs which are hidden so this is how you will identify hidden parameters with the, the hidden parameter detector so it will be handy at times so let's close it and talking about other features of Synotex, uh, you might be familiar with this browse it's much like a browser so you can just give a URL and just click on go so that will render this website in the three different browser engines yeah so now if you want to see the source code of the content that is rendered you can go to view source and then you can go for uh, individual ones like if you click on trident it will display the source code how it is rendered in trident it will be shown there or if you want to see for WebKit, you can select that, or if you want to see uh, for all the engine, you can select all the engines so that will show the source code rendered in all the engines. So there is one feature, and now uh, this buttons are much like your browser controls go back, go forward, and refresh. And if you want to clear the browser engines, you can just go and select reset so that will clear the uh, browser engines and. Uh, so one more thing is settings options So settings options from there. You can configure your server. You can do the settings related to your Synotix payload server. So another option is proxy settings. So for, uh, with the proxy settings, you can actually redirect the traffic from Synotix to any other proxy tools. So for example, let's uh, fire up Fiddler. So Fiddler is a proxy. So uh, Fiddler is online and listening. So let's uh, do one thing. Let's configure the Synotix proxy towards Fiddler. So Fiddler will be listening at uh, port 8888 at uh, the local host. Into 7 .0 .0 .1. And the port 0.0.1. will be uh, 8888. So that is the default port of Fiddler. And uh, you can also give username and password if necessary. For example, if you want to work with uh, Intel and proxy and all, like in your corporate environments and all. So you'll be having a proxy. So if you want to redirect the traffic through the proxy, you should use this, this option. Then click on use proxy and save it. And so uh, if you use any modules like advanced request buzzer and uh, give a request like HTTP open security dot in so if you try to uh, make a request you can see that the request will be routed through your Fiddler so now we can see that uh, the request is being routed through the proxy so if you just go and check in your Fiddler let's close this and uh, you can see that the request is uh, being made through your proxy yep yeah. so that is one option and now uh, you can just turn off using proxy yes so uh, one important thing i would like to point out is that even if you use the double proxy settings those are not applicable to these three different browser engines so if you need to intercept the traffic from these three browser engines what you have to do is you have to set the proxy for the corresponding browsers which are installed in your system so for uh, uh, intercepting the traffic from trident basically you have to set the proxy for ie for intercepting the traffic for webkit you have to set the proxy for crop so that will be uh, by default by default if you set proxy for ie that will be propagated through Chrome also. And again, for Firefox also, um, you know, you'll have to set your 
proxy for Firefox if you need to intercept the traffic of Geekko. So another option is import payload. So basically if you have any payloads uh, and you want to import it to Synotix, you can use this option. So you can just uh, click on that. But uh, you know, before importing the payload, you have to stop the server. So if you click on uh, import payload while the server is running, it will tell you to stop the server. So you have to go to configure server and stop your server. And then you have to go to import payload. And then select the payload. So I have some payload over here. So now you can see the payload count has been increased. So if you just go and uh, uh, go to auxiliary and then view the XSS payloads. Okay, you have to configure the server now. So just configure the server, hide it, and then go to auxiliary and go to view XSS payloads. Uh, it will take a little bit time. So, so here is a 5734 payloads. So on the top, you can see the payloads uh, that is imported by you, followed by the default Synotix payloads. Oh, all right. So I hope you got an idea about the general settings and features of Synotix. Thanks for watching.